Welcome to tutorial 5. I know these past few tutorials we've done more talking than coding and I can sense you're really keen to get on with a bit, bit of coding so we're going to ease in gently and from this tutorial onwards things are going to get very interesting very quickly. Let's start by looking at our method. We need to make sure we are in the uh, Android project view. We played around with this in the last tutorial so let's click Android. It's always nice to take a look at the manifest and remind ourselves of what's going on. So each application has its own manifest, as you already know. Here we have the launcher application activity and the class is main activity. So let's go over to our package and open the main activity class. We've already gone over that the main activity extends the action bar activity which extends another activity which eventually just extends the android activity base class so we won't go any further we're going to jump straight into some coding and as i've already mentioned what we are going to attempt to do is to add our icon to the action bar in our activity class so our activity class already has this action bar and we need to reference that somehow and we're going to use the get support action bar method now here's a good hint and tip for when you're using android studio android studio auto completes your typing when it recognizes methods so here you'll find a list of methods that android studio is guessing that you want to use so more often than not you can just highlight the method you want to use and hit enter now get support action bar and other methods while you're learning you'll want to look them up to find out exactly what they do here's some documentation for the get support action bar method it retrieves a reference to the activities action bar which is what we want and what does it return it returns the activities action bar and if there isn't one it returns a null so if we look at the type of object the method returns you can see that get support action bar returns a if i click this an action bar object. So let's type that out. Get support action bar. I've done this a bit backwards. Returns a action bar object. And we're going to name that action bar. First thing you'll notice here is that the action bar object here is highlighted in red. And we have a message here that says cannot resolve symbol action bar. And the reason for this is that Android Studio at the moment doesn't know what action bar is. Whenever you use a class, you always have to import it. If you look up at the beginning of your class, you have all of these import statements. Android Studio completes this for you. So what you can do is just highlight action bar. And on the Mac, it's Alt and Enter. And it auto completes the import. If you look back up at the Android um, import statements, here it is. There is also another way that we could have gone about this. And I think it's useful to cover this. I'll just remove the import statement. And I'll remove all of this. You would have started normally by typing in action bar uh, and then creating a, a variable. Oh, it's remembered what we've used, so action bar. And when you do program this way around and you tap in alt and enter, we're given a choice. We're given a choice with two classes that you can import and how do you choose which one to use? Well, if we look back at where is it? If 
the method get support action bar is part of the class Android support v7 app app uh, package. So we can go back to our programming and confidently select this one. Android Studio then automatically imports the relevant class. You can create a variable, then tap in the method, get support action bar, and use the autocomplete feature. Let's just save our progress there. It's not going to take much more now to complete our task. Since we now have a object action bar, the class that describes the object action bar has some member methods that can help us add the icon to the action bar. So now that we've got a reference to our action bar, we can use that reference action bar and there's a member method called set display show custom oh no Sh show home enabled that's the one and this method controls if the icon is shown or not and we're going to say true. You can see that Android Studio helpfully tells you what type of argument the method takes. So it's Boolean, so it's either going to be true or false. Next, once you've enabled that, you have to tell the action bar what icon you're going to use. So we set the icon. Action bar set icon. Now, how do we reference our icon? If you look over to our resource directory, we have our mipmap icons and our IC launcher. So, you type R mip map again the autocomplete helps you out here and then IC launcher more autocomplete helpfulness excellent you will notice in the far left you get a mini icon a mini image of the icon we've just chosen let's let it save I think that's all we need to do so save and then we can uh, run our app, highlight app, hit run, and now we wait. We've already got a device that's running, so we'll just use that. Yeah, I was uh, I was hoping it would pop up on its own. I just clicked on it myself. So there we have it. We've added our icon onto the action bar. It was nice to have you again. And uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial.